guys, how are you doing today? Are you guys having a great day? Miss Lisa's having a great day so far. I miss all of you guys, but I'm so proud of you that you're doing your worksheets and you're exercising your brain because that's not always easy. And that's that means that you guys are working hard and that your brain's working hard. Okay, so Miss Lisa only has a couple worksheets for you guys today because I I want you guys to start practicing your Bob book. So after this, I want you to go and get your Bob book and I want you to get your flashcards and practice that. Practice those flashcards and I want you to practice the book, okay? So we're only gonna have a couple today unless you count your mazes, but I'm sure you guys probably did those already because those are so fun and that's, that's fun exercise for your brain. Okay, who remembers what letter we're talking about this week? You guys remember? If you said the letter X, you are right. Good job, guys. We have some words that start with the letter X and end with the letter X. These words over here start with the letter X. Can you see that? We have an X that starts here and an X that starts with these words. Now these words over here, they end in X. Do you see that? There's an X at the very end. We have F, Ox, and Ox. X. Do you hear that sound? And then we have X-ray and we have xylophone. Now, normally when the word starts with an X, it has the Z sound. It makes the Z sound for Zeke the Zebra. I know that's a little confusing, but um, we're just gonna practice a little bit, okay? So this is actually called a xylophone and you can make noise with it. Music, actually. Okay, so let's find our words. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna circle all of our X's, right? That's what Miss Lisa tells you to do so that we can go and we can look to see if we have any of the words that we're looking for that um, start with the letter X or this week that end with the letter X. So we wanna find all of the X's first. Can you guys find all of those X's? I see another one up here. Good job. Okay, I don't know if I see any more X's. I might be missing one, so if I am, then, yep, I'm missing one over here. Then you guys take a little bit better time. It's kind of hard, Miss Lisa's looking in the camera and sometimes it's not always easy. Okay, so we found all of the X's, so let's go and see. We have xylophone, that's X, Y, L, P, X, Y, L, O, P, H, A, N, E, xylophone. P-H-O-N-E. And then we have X-ray, X-R-A-Y. Sorry guys, it's a little hard to see. Then Fox is F-O-X and Ox is O-X. And Xylophone, let's do that one more time, is X-Y-L-P, right? P, wait, X-Y-L-O-P-H-O-N-E. Finally, Miss Lisa got it right. That's a really long one. Okay, so let's see if we see any of our words that either end in X or start with X. So let's start at the top here. Do I see any X words? Do I see, I do see one, I see ox. I see an O and then an X. Can you guys circle that? And then you can cross off the ox because we already found him. Okay, let's look at our other X down over here. Do we see anything that starts with an X? X, Y, L, O, P, H, O, N, E. We just found xylophone. Can you guys circle the word xylophone? Look, it takes up the whole row. Oh my goodness. Okay, then we're gonna jump down here and we have X-ray and then up here we still have Fox. So let's find another X. Here's another X. Do we see any words that either end in X or start with X? I see one that ends. I see F, Ox, Fox, F, Ox, Fox. So let's start up here and go all the way around. Good job, guys. Okay, then the next word we have, the very last one, let's cross off our Fox, is X-ray. So we have two X's left. Where does it look like we can find x-ray? I see x-ray, it is right here, x-ray. Yep, I think we just found all of them. Good job, guys. Okay, then I want you to practice your x's down here. We start at the top, remember, for uppercase, 
go down to the bottom, then start at the very top line again and go down the other side, okay? Let's try that one more time. Start at the top line and go down, then start at the top line again and go down the other side. And then lowercase, can you guys say lowercase? <gasps> lowercase x, we start at the little line, which is the middle line. We go down across both sides. Can you guys try that? Start at the middle line and go down, then come up here and go down on the other side. And then Miss Lisa wants you guys to practice your X up here. You guys think you can do that? So I want you to practice your uppercase. So start at the top line and go down and across and start at the top line and go down across the other way. And then I want you to practice lowercase X too. So start at the middle line and go down, then the middle line again, go down and across the other side, okay? So you guys practice your X's, okay? You guys are doing such a good job. All right, and then our last worksheet, we actually have some words that end in X. Because sometimes when it starts with X, it's, it makes the Z sound. But we want to practice our X, X sound. So we're going to practice that by these words. So let's, let's look at the first one. What's that a picture of? A uh, fa a x fa a x So let's practice the letter X. It's lowercase, so it starts the middle line. Go down and then go down the other side. Then Miss Lisa wants you to write the word fox. Fa, a, x, okay, fox. And then after you're done with this worksheet, I want you to read all of the words to your um, to your grown up who's helping you or your brother or sister, okay? All right, what's this, what's this a picture of? A what? A b-a-x, box. And then we're gonna practice writing b a x box. And then this is the number six. S -i -x, six. Okay, can you guys practice writing the number six? I -x. It's actually the word six, but it's a number. Okay, then our very last picture down here is a picture of an axe. Can you say axe? So we're gonna practice our lowercase x, and then we're gonna write the word x. A, x, x, okay? Then I want you to go back and practice all these words. F, ox, fox, b, ox, box, s, x, six, and x, x, okay? Miss Lisa wants you to practice trying to read every day, maybe take the weekends off, so that by the time you're in kindergarten, you know all your sounds so well and you can start looking at words and blending them very easily, okay? So Miss Lisa, just even if it's just a simple worksheet like this, or just maybe practice just, you know, a little bit of your Bob book, your flashcards, your sight words, I want you guys to practice reading every day, okay? To exercise your brain so that you're really familiar with all of these words and sounds when you go to kindergarten, okay? And then for your math, you can just do your math, your mazes, okay? Miss Lisa has a couple mazes here for you guys. This one, you actually have three mazes. You can help this pirate, this pirate girl, and this pirate boy all find the treasure chest, okay? So that's kind of a fun one. And then this pirate, you gotta help him find his ship, okay? So some of these are a little bit harder and that's okay. You can take your time doing that or maybe even get help. I wanted to challenge you guys a little bit. Okay guys, so I hope you had a fun day today learning about the letter X and some words that end with X. And I'll see you guys later, all right? And practice your reading. Read, 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 okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.